Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Jerry. Okay, Lieutenant. Hey, I'm speaking to you. I live in fear of the police because the police harass a black man at his own house. So I live in fear of the police. Well, I'm, I'm listening to you. I'm listening, and I, I've already explained to the officer that he might have gotten that call, but it wasn't from this resident. Excuse me? Yes, this is Sappho residence. Okay. Right. Is, uh, Mr. Kevin Sappho here? You speaking with him? Are you Mr. Kevin Sappho? Right. Oh, okay, Mr. Sappho. Um, is there any way I can talk to you? Just... I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you and saying there is no problem at 1136 Mahara Circle. I don't know what somebody else may have called and complained of, but as I explained to the officer, if there's been a complaint filed, they need to file it. But I haven't made a call to the police officer. Mm. Well, I, su I suggest you investigate and see if there's any sign of that, because I've been inside the house. I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay. Did anybody come in your house earlier? No, other than myself, no. Okay. Is there anybody who come to you complaining about being hurt? No, they have not. They have not? Okay. Uh, is there anybody else here that we can talk to? You're talking to the owner of the house. Okay. You're talking to the owner of the house, the resident of the house. I've identified myself to you, and I've explained to the officers. There's nobody being harmed in here. If you would, if you'd have heard them, if it was, they've been here 30 minutes, and I've explained to him, I don't trust the police. That's just the truth of the matter. I've had some bad experience with police officers. So I don't trust the police. They come on false pretenses. So I don't trust them. you know uh, Mamie? I'm not familiar with a Mamie, no. No. And what did, what did, what does Mamie have to do with this resident? Well, I'm, you can ask your officer to step away if you want privacy, but I have to record you all because you all say one thing and do something different. So, yeah. Now I've answered your most important question, which is, I'm the owner of the resident. I have not filed a complaint. I have not witnessed anybody being abused or beaten over by that car. I've seen cars ride by here, but I couldn't tell you who was in them. So I've already asked you the most important question. And if there's a neighbor who made a complaint, then they should file a formal complaint. But there's been no complaint made from this resident. Okay. All right. I mean, I basically said all I wanted to say about that, though. Yeah. I've said all I wanted to say about that. But I really, I really do, man. I mean, I've answered your question, and I really do, man. I asked him to leave my residence. Yeah. I've asked him to leave my residence. I understand they have a job to do, but as far as I'm concerned, they've already done it. They've, been, they've basically been in my yard for 30 minutes now, shining the flashlight through the house. And they've only seen me in the house, so what is the problem? I've answered all the questions, I've answered all the questions I care to answer, really. I've answered all the questions I really care to answer. I did not. Okay. All right. All right. Did you mind if me we talk? We've already had a conversation, sir, and I appreciate you being patient. I've, I've explained and said everything I need to say, and that's it. Okay. All right. But I appreciate your patience, though. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir.